because everybody hurts sometimes sometimes listen bro this is my second favorite email by top g himself war and peace and i doubt that top g actually writes these emails but then again like he probably has like a few people dedicated to copywriting for him but for the most part i think that he does write his his work you have to give up it's called war and peace by the way war and peace you have to give up peace of mind for an extraordinary life learn to be at peace with the chaos own a company work never stops own multiple cars one is always in the shop leave peace for the weak who can't handle pressure when they do, when old they wish they lived harder the only true peace of mind is care, care about nothing achieve nothing and be nothing if you want to do something that matters or you want to have that others don't or want to have that others don't be at peace in the fog of war have it all how hard do you live what did you even do yesterday reply to this email write on your answer press 10 and look yourself in the mirror and ask where's the action this is very interesting I want you guys to, anyone watching this video, the seven odd viewers that watched the video, to reply to this video, YouTube video, write down your answer of what did you do yesterday, press send, and look yourself in the mirror and ask, where's the action? Where on earth is the action? Where is it? Where is good money? <laughs> Where is it? It isn't here. Listen, ladies and gentlemen. Peace and balance are things that are sold to you by the majority in order to make you like the majority. It is there for you to be mediocre and be completely okay with it. It is there for you to have, make excuses, to lie to yourself. It is there for you to say, oh, it's too late now because of this. It's too late now because of this. Because of self deprecating beliefs, you limit yourself immensely. Most humans are a bundle of potential, unrealized, unblossomed, simply because they refuse to put in the work. Ladies and gentlemen, refuse to put in the work and you die. You die mediocre. When old, like he says here, one of the things that resonates with me the most is when old, they'll wish they lived life harder. Or when old, they'll wish they lived harder. I live life harder, effectively the same thing. I think about this all the time. I think about had I not been consistent with the YouTube videos, with hundreds of videos I'm posting out now, I was like, well, what I've got here is gonna be 200 videos. Woohoo! <laughs> What's wrong with me? It'll be 200 videos. And after that, like, I'm just gonna be editing like crazy. Like, I, I, a bunch of like, literally tossed, I procrastinate on like, post images online, do this, do that. Talk, I procrastinated for. Fucking month, 158 days and 200 days, two of them. I just did them right now, just like that. And now I'm about to go fucking. I'm about to rest a bit because this is my calendar. Packed, by the way, tomorrow I have to edit my calendar for um, Tuesday, fr Friday. But um, yeah, this is my calendar. Medi I got um, my meal one. I just finished my meal one. I made another video. Meditation two. I do my meditation one. I missed that. D what block two. Free time reading. I think I'm gonna go go on a run just before our uh, thing. It's like it's gonna be a 40 minute run. I want to meditate for like 15 to 30 minutes, and I'm gonna go on a 30 minute or 40 minute run. And then as I come home, I can immediately begin my deep work block two. And then after that, after my deep work block two, my two hours of work is done. I'm going to take a shower in between, and then I'm gonna use that free time to read. And after that, I can you know get my meal, my meal two in, my night routine, and then I can go to sleep and then prepare for the, the next day. So I'm pretty bad at this exist now. Um, I'm probably recording myself going to the commute to work and everything. In the workplace of mine. It is. It is like a diamond fucking prison, bro. Like a diamond prison, one that's embellished with diamonds and gold and luxurious items, is still a fucking prison. I feel trapped in there and I feel like what I'm doing is right. I feel like as if, if I'm posting, trying to get my own business, trying to do this, posting on here instead, trying to make money here, I feel much more better. I feel like I'm doing something right with my life. Who the fuck is messaging me? 75 75 
Someone's biting me or something. What the fuck? My legs feel itchy. It's, my, it's more hair on my legs than usual. What the... Increase testosterone. That is my favorite email because... It just... It highlights the importance of having adversity within your life. Peace of mind is something that comes after war. There is no peace without war. If it's just peace, 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 then that'll just be the new norm. So there'll be no peace. That'll just be normal. You need... How do I say this? How do you say this again? You need con controversial. You need contrasting elements within your life in order to appreciate one element uh, more than the other. If you're sad all the time and then you get a glimpse of happiness, you'll appreciate that glimpse of happiness much more than a person who's always happy. Because that happy, always happy is just it's a base state of mood. That's the way it goes, even though I would not recommend being sad all the time and being happy some, like, sometimes and then wishing for the next dose of happiness. That's utterly, completely utterly stupid. It's utterly inane, asinine. But for the most part, like, in life, like he says, you have to be at peace with the fog of war. I don't know why I said for the most part. There was no point to develop there. <laughs> have it all. How hard do you live? What did you even do yesterday? Honestly, yesterday I fucked about. I had this video to record. I had that work to do. I had this work to do. Didn't do it. So I fucked about. And I'm actually about, I feel like I'm doing this. You should do super. I feel like I should do some more work in a minute. I'm going to go meditate. be ahead of schedule. I'll catch you guys in a bit. There's nothing I can, nothing I can say in the video. Four minutes.